what playing aggressive can bring forward to you. All right, so let's take a look at how these teams oh, are going to go yo. off. Eo will be able to take down Zen Hoi Chick. Very nicely done with a tap of the Ghost to the Dome. Popo Man will be able to take the Arbiter. As we do see a one for one a casualty Spike count here for both these teams. Spike has been planted and it seems that it's going to be the retake members of AHQ. Yeah, they have they have brought very similar lineups here. Well, only with the only exception of uh, the breach instead of the raise for both sides. So, oh, Ayo trying to get some shots and he connects both on towards Popo Man as well as Asics. So that leaves only one more member alive, and Ayo is gonna get that down as well as Ayo gets a four kill. HQ able to retake the side and enter will fall behind one point in the first round. Very nicely done here from AHQ to take away Spectres and then saving a bit more but the entry coming from Popo Man getting themselves into a site they might be able to plant here and that is all that they can ask for right now. Alright, so we will be going for a very big plant here from the side of Mao. Do you see some shots nope. that coming in? Oh, Mao being able to take down Sue. Some good stuff here being shown from Arbiter as well. Oh my god, can't be able to take down Ar Amenhola. Very nicely done. Immediately, AHQ goes for the defuse. Yeah, still a pretty clean round coming from the side of AHQ. This is most likely going to be an A push. Very nicely done here coming in from the side of AHQ to slow down yeah. the push that's coming in from Enter. But I think they are going to be heavily committed towards it. We do see two members. One more member for, sorry, for the side of AHQ going to be rotating. It seems to rotate here onto A as members of Enter now are going to commit. We do see it's going to be a three versus four with an advantage towards Enter as the spike has been planted. Now the time is going to turn the tables here as the pressure is going to mount for the side of HQ to retake. Um, A6 gets a nice first kill and he's trying to get another, but uh, looks like they're going to go for a save here. Four versus two, a very tough call, especially with an operator. The A side is the most difficult. A uh, slight to retake with an operator, so looks like he might back off. He tries to go for a kill, gets tagged a little bit. He's gonna think twice and get the hell out of there. Well, bugging out is definitely going to be on the idea of milk. Maybe you might consider taking some of these exit frags. However, exit frags. However, we do see that members of Enter are going to be going out. Uh, are gonna be getting out of from a long. So that's gonna be really needing to win this uh, this next round. All right, let's take a look at how Arbit is gonna go with the shorty. Oh. No, um, and Hola comes out and decides to out. give him a bit of a peek onto Arbiter. Very unfortunate here. Arbiter should have been a little bit closer, but we do see the Bucky here onto Khan as he's going to be holding on towards this corner of A side near boxes. Yeah, but the rotations have already come in. They are going to a C. Breach is already there, hoping to set up, Revealing but everyone else is a little bit far behind. Rainy. He has to buy enough time. He does have the fault line, which was designed to buy time for this long position. And he's gonna use it. Tries to maybe slow things down. Gets one, maybe gets a second. He sees the jet, but Popo Man will be too fast for him. Gets the kill. And that's gonna be the C side opened up as Sen Hoachi Sen gets a kill onto his IO. And the operator is just arriving onto a C. Very similar playstyles here being adopted from both uh, Enter as well as AHQ. Very much aggressive indeed. And a focus towards retakes here is going to be towards AHQ. However, with the numbers not in their favor, and maybe AHQ has to be very wary of the lurk that could be coming from the Omen on Enter here. They have to be careful that they don't get stabbed in the back and bleed funds. Considering that um, winning at this Ooh. juncture is going to be very important for AHQ to basically maintain that economy. I do believe that this could be the way Enter swings it around for themselves. Yeah, definitely. It's only saving the Operator uh, and a shot, uh, and a Bucky, which isn't the best gun right now. But still, they still uh, is able to save like this uh, sewer as well as long control. Uh, force to force rotations and they do have it right now spotted out there is milk the pain shells will come out maybe try and force him out but oh hunter's fury as well he's taking so much damage he's gonna fall a6 will get the kill on cunt as well as milk so that's gonna be the a side opened up there popo man gets a hit shot on uh, gets a kill on towards arbiter as well so that's the a side completely opened up but where is the spike the spike is all the way still in base
Oh my goodness, this is going to be very interesting. So it does go to show that members of Enter here uh, did do a little bit of a mistake mm -hmm. here by dropping back that spike. However, they're not going to be punished from it mainly because members of AHQ, they were able to get those trades off and are able to maintain all five members. So this could be most spike likely planted. another save round for AHQ and we might see a full-on eco on the next round for the side of AHQ. Ayo sneaking in towards heaven hopefully trying to get a few exit kills well the breach has already given up here uh in terms of this round hope just hoping to save his gun are you just gonna double back a little bit maybe wait for the exact timing to get a headshot or two on the exit but he's gonna back off or is he going for it? He might get one if the timing is right. They're heading for a shot. Yes, he now no A6. A little bit too accurate for him. And Ayo will fall as well. They almost lost every single gun. It's only the breach holding on for his uh, Vandal, if I remember correctly. But that's all they have to play to play with for the next round very then that's all she wrote here for ahq as in mm -hmm. terms of the credits and i think that uh ahq has got to be very uh decisive and very frank with how they want to be uh, approaching some of these fights oh arbiter oh. will be able to take down two into popo White as well as amenhola but we do see rainy right now going to be holding on on to c don't know whether or not there's going to be a counter rotate here two members down for the count for the side of enter as there may be a counter rotate not going to be any focus towards b however most members are going to be pretty much adamant of either taking a or c but judging from the past few rounds it has mostly been a for yep. the most part for enter yep, it has been oh oh arbiter my fall here taking so much damage from the pain shells but barely surviving 15 hp left he got the early two kills it was fantastic but he has earned a well-deserved break so they are going to actually back off from the sewers as well as a long and they might rethink their uh, their plan of attack here with only three members remaining from the side of enter they have lost their jet so have they have to rely on this race left. to open things up four versus uh, three versus five situation not the easiest from the side of ender but not definitely not impossible as well very not definitely not impossible indeed here as we're going to be watching uh, from uh, the side of the hq they're going to oh there's going to be oh. a three-man rush on uh, to a c side ten here as left. 10 more seconds left on the clock there's going to be a definite sense of urgency hunter's fury there going off and oh guy will be able to take them out just as he plants it nicely done the spike has gone down to the ground but we shall see members of AHQ right now Not definitely have expanding. the tempo as well as the advantage in round number seven. Oh, another nice little tap there coming in from Sen Ho Chick, but it's going to be Milk that tells him uh, to get his proteins in and another win for the side of AHQ, evening out the score, excuse me, uh, closing out mm -hmm. because AHQ has been quite, um, has been contesting. Oh, but wait, before I complete that, it seems that there's going to be a big change here, an immediate push out to see, and it seems that members of AHQ have been caught with the pass down because the Cypher has been taken off for the count here as we do see the quick rotations coming in onto Garage as well as C-Link and this is going to be a fantastic turn of events for the side of Enter here another way for them to actually get the lead and try to get two oh, rounds ahead of AHQ yeah this retake is going to be really hard because the post plant positions are perfect here but can't able to get a kill onto Samanhola to start he's spraying through the dark cover he's getting some damage done but not enough as the operator shots are coming in Milk trying to defuse through the smoke uh, he's not he's gonna get, take some shots and he's actually gonna stick the defuse they don't know they don't know they're sticking the defuse and A6 Milk gets the job something of a uh not to say it's a bad decision coming in from Enter, but it's rather unfortunate yep, that they weren't able to follow up and try to get it uh, and try to get off a kill onto AHQ. However, that is going to be in the past as we head into round number nine. We do see Amin Hola will be taking down one trade has been completed, but it's going to be a double and doesn't look good for the side of Enter here. Oh, oh my goodness! Milk with the third one as A6 will be able to take him down for the count here as we do see 3v2. Rainy as well as the rest of the gang of AHQ still with three members as Mao and his last surviving member of Enter are going to be pushing, maybe pushing into A, but they got to be very wary though because there is going to be one member of AHQ in heaven as well as Ailing. Oh, the peak almost gets Ayo. Ayo gets, a, gets away in time. Mao 
has to back off. The spike has is still not inside the site as of yet. So they're gonna clear up the site. The race is gonna fall. Rainy will be the one in charge of that. And now with an inch of his health, eight HP left, he's not gonna be getting anything done. And Ayo with the Rando will be able to get the kill and very aggressively outside of uh, a long here. He knows that there is a couple of members, doesn't know the exact number. So Amon Hola might be flashing out and they're gonna try and flush him out of this corner. He is trying to the counter paranoia does help a little bit. As well as Dark Cover, he spawns the gen, he gets the kill, but the boom block does so much damage. Ma will be wanna finish him off though with the exactly. headshot and Senho Sen actually gets a kill on Tourist Milk. They know A is rather undermanned right now, but looks like A is cute will not be rewarded as enter will fall back they will pull off the brakes they will go to earth another site because they know that asq might have Come rotated everyone it and it's a very dangerous uh site to push into the rather take c which is completely left Here's undefended at the moment Right, so we're going to be seeing how Enter now is going to be pushing on to C. Very good exchange here, but oh my Whoa. goodness, EO took way too long to take down Amin Hola. But Saint Hochik will be able to take down EO relatively quickly here. Khan will be able to take down A6, and here we go. The fault line is going to be good. Will be able to stun. No, it won't, as Khan will be able to take down Saint Hochik. Mao takes down Khan in return, and oh. there it goes. A boom shakalaka on to Enter as we complete this round. Diffuse is gonna come in and it's going to be another round for AHQ getting the lead by two rounds Very close round for them. In fact, it was Enter that had the uh, numbers advantage throughout but the retake from AHQ just Really like been uh, um, a or C. ignoring <laughs> uh, mid side and I yeah. feel that that option to actually ignore mid is definitely going to be an undoing for Enter here if they don't even consider it or at least try to pull some kind of uh, deception here towards yeah. members of AHQ However, we do see a little bit of hope here for members of AHQ, excuse me, for members of Enter as we do see Smoke's going to go up out to heaven as well as C Link, uh, A Link, excuse me, as we do see. Oh, God, on to Armin Hola. Very unfortunate here as it is going to be the first casualty of this round for members of Enter. We do see now four versus three. Spike has been planted a little bit too late with the fault line though for the side of AHQ. But we do see another one is going to go down. Mao on to Khan as we do uh, see another. Recall ball comes out. AC will be taking down a Rainy as well. One surviving member. Will he stay or will he go? And most likely he will go. Yep, Ayo doesn't have uh, the members to back him up right now. So he will most likely say he does have Nero Theft, but it is uh, useless to use right now. But you are right, they have completely forgotten that Haven is a tree site map and has just been going to either A or C so far. They think B maybe is just a storage place for uh, for stuff like this. But you know, AHQ, they lose this round and 6-5 is a certainty. Will it be a 6-6? Six -six? As both sides should have enough money to continue buying towards the next round, but I will push here towards B. And that's the thing I feel, but no, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be B oh. at all. Zero, it's gonna be a full-on push onto A. It seems that it's not gonna be the case. Spike Carrier has been taken up on the count. I'm in hold out. We'll be able to take down Milk as well. Very nicely done. As Khan will be able to take down three members here and four. Mao and I'm in hold out. The last few victors to end the round may be most likely going to be a C rush. Very nicely done. The cloud in to the tailwind for the jet. It's not going to be enough. Khan will be able to take down one. Milk takes down another one as well. Milk, milk takes down two onto A6. We do see a 4v2 with the advantage onto AHQ. And oh, Mao onto Milk while Milk was looking the other way. Yep, still, this post plan is decent coming from the side of AHQ. Enter only has two players left remaining. Oh, Popo Man gets a headshot on those Khan. They have to deal with this uh, so far as soon as possible. No, Mao gets a kill before he gets traded off there. So one versus one, definitely doable for Popo Man. He's trying oh. to Stick the defuse. He's sticking it. Oh, but he just just gets it to half, and it's gonna be Ayo versus Popo Man, and Ayo will be the one to win that fight. Very close, but in the end, HQ comes up on top. Very, very. That, that first shot connects. Yeah, Popo Man hasn't been playing really well so far. Only four kills to his name, and uh, his gamble on his operator might not pay off. Oh, Tyson oh. Hoachik though, his gamble on the spray does connect onto his Ayo. His location has been revealed, but looks like HQ after that losing that player might slow down a little bit back off and reconvene somewhere else maybe get some information get some picks somewhere else but that was a fantastic shot there from senhoa chick all right senhoa chick opening up the round with ahq in the casualty list and it is going to be the cypher that gets taken down so considering that that Here. could be uh opening 
for a lurk, I would like to see actually members of Entered be a little bit more aggressive with mm-hmm. their numbers yeah. advantage. Definitely, I think I definitely agree with you. They're having the numbers advantage. They can just stick together as two or three and start uh, clearing off the corners, making sure that there are no lurkers in C or and no lurkers in B, so that they can actually just. Uh, pinpoint where exactly HQ is going to execute in, but right now it's a little bit too late here as Popo Man trying to hold on. Oh, it's actually a bait. They're baiting utility, they're baiting left. rotations, and it's working very well. Four members of Enter are have already went towards A and B, uh, and C is completely left empty. All right. Oh, they're going to be spotted by the camera here. Very good paranoia on to Sen Chik has to get him back. And we do see all four members here. We do see the immediate rotation here coming from Ten the side of AHQ on to enter. Uh, from AHQ on to enter here as we do see that with AHQ now holding on towards this Arbiter will be able to take down Sen Chik. Very nicely done from AHQ. Enter now has to get back and retake the retake the site as we are watching from the side of A6 here. I think a paint shell would be very good, would be exactly what the doctor ordered here. May actually be able to open it quite a bit. There goes the spike, and oh, Land very nicely done on the mount as well as A6, but Milk will be able to take down two. Immediately dashes out, but nope, it's oh. not gonna be enough. Ten is gonna go for the recon ball up. Oh, nicely done there from Gun on to Popo Man for uh, Q. As we do see that Milk, as well as the other members of AHQ, are going to be focusing towards the side of A. Mao will be able to get take. Mao will be able to take down Arbiter no with way. a beautiful oh, Hunter's Fury, and uh, there goes another Hunter's Fury. Will be able to take down oh, another one. Oh, no, he. Oh, oh, he gets a triple with his he, Hunter's Fury. Iron Falls really as well. That leads the HQ. Hot plus the death. As well as the smokes are going to be dropped down for the count here, as Hassan Hochik right now won't be able to see. And he really will be able to take down one on top of Ola, but Sinhochik will be able to reply onto Milk with a good shot and it seems that they are going to be planted. Uh, Spike is going to be planted for C Long as well as C Garage. Oh, nicely done onto Sinhochik. Definitely going to slow him down in terms of getting back the counter peaks. Very good stuff here from Mao. And Mao will be able to take down two. Uh, excuse me, Mao will be able to take, down, take them down as oh, onto Long. But will he would have been able to get it? Oh, Rainy uses the rolling thunder to try and slow him down, but little does he know he's on the other side, but the reload! Oh! The reload from Mao actually loses no! him the round! And... Was that a very aggressive... Oh no, it wasn't going to be an aggressive... Uh, move there. Oh, oh my milk. goodness, Milk! On to two with the classic, I very cheeky exactly lead. Popo Man will be able to take down Milk as well. EO comes in forward and takes down Popo Man. And planted. oh my god, enter. The only the one left standing is going to be Sen Hoichek. Yes, it's, uh, it's actually Sen Hochik and one more of his teammates. It is the oh, yes, uh, the Omen me. on Heaven, but I don't think they can do so much because A side is notoriously difficult to retake. Look at the crossfire they have. The moment Sen Hochik walks out, he has three one guns LA trained LA. on him. He's gonna get one, but he's gonna get trained off that by Khan. And Rainy will get the last on. Do not give up and do not make any of these mistakes because AHQ will take advantage of it. Oh, Milk immediately, as I say, will be able to take down A6, but Popoman for Q will be able to take down Milk. Rainy gets back to trade on to Popoman, but it is going to be 3v4 in favor of AHQ. That numbers advantage definitely still in AHQ's favor, so they are going to make a fast play towards C. Oh, Sen Chick not in position to defend right now, and they're gonna get a free entry to C. Sen Chick spots that right now, he sees the mistake, and he's gonna go back right in, gets flashed, and he's trying to buy some time, gets a kill on this Arbiter, nicely done, but Rainy will be able to get the trade on towards him as well. Three versus two situation, Rainy does have a fault line to even stall things out a little bit further, but the rotations are very far away. One player will be coming towards the garage, the other towards the spawn, and gets spotted out there by the Cypher Cam, that's terrible for Mao, he's gonna be even slowed down even further as it's gonna be Avan Hola trying to do his best to lead away. All right, so we do see 3v2, gonna be pretty hard here to take it to take now. into the fight. We go for the paranoia on the side of AHQ, excuse me, the smoke on to Slum. Very man. wise choice. We do see the flash, mm. but it's not gonna be enough as Rainy will be able to close it out. 13 to 6 for AHQ, the first game 